I'm E. Wood, and these are the world's strangest pirates. Pirates began roaming the seas from the 1500s until about the 1830s. These are some of the most famous. Blackbeard the Pirate, aka Edward Teach, aka Edward Thatch, was an English pirate who operated around the West Indies and eastern coasts of Britain's North American colonies from the late 1600s to the early 1700s. He had the reputation of a fearsome pirate and lived up to his name. It was said he carried six one-shot flintlock pistols in his jacket, but mainly used his fearsome image as an alternative to violence. Blackbeard captured a French slave ship and renamed it the Queen Anne's Revenge and equipped her with 40 cannons and 300 crewmen. On November 22nd, Blackbeard's forces were defeated and he was killed in a bloody battle of Ocracoke Island. Legend has it he received five musket ball wounds and 20 sword lacerations before dying. William Kidd was born in Scotland in 1654, but moved to New York City as an apprentice aboard a pirate ship. In 1689, Kidd organized a mutiny while sailing in the Caribbean and ousted the captain, Jean Fenton. Kidd became captain and renamed the ship the Blessed William. Kidd found success as a captain and acquired great wealth. His treasure is said to be hidden to this day. Kidd, however, had many problems with his crew and trusted allies. Governor Berman, who had commissioned Kidd, learned of his status of a wanted pirate and lured him to Boston under false pretenses. He had him arrested and Kidd spent an entire year in solitary confinement where it was said he was driven insane. Eventually, Kidd was sent to England to answer for his crimes and on May 23, 1701, was hung in a public execution in London. Bartholomew Black Bart Roberts, possibly the most successful pirate in history, plundering over 400 ships. Born in Wales in 1682, Black Bart started his sailing career at the age of 13. After many years on the sea, the crew voted Roberts to be captain. Roberts became well known for his charisma, which in turn made his crewmen completely loyal. In his days of piracy, he captured the governor of Martinique, hijacked multiple royal ships, and gained arguably the most notorious pirate reputation in history. It was said he would dress up in his finest clothes before a skirmish, and there were even theories that he was a transvestite woman and his loyal crew would hide this. No kidding. Black Bart's pirate days would come to an end, though, on February 10th, 1722, when he was struck in the throat by a grape shot from the English vessel, the Swallow. Finally, we have my two personal favorites, Jack Rackham and Anne Bonet. Jack Rackham, known as Calico Jack or Calico Jack, was an English pirate captain operating mostly in the Bahamas and Cuba. He wasn't a good fighter, nor was he a good navigator. In fact, he really wasn't a good pirate. His strengths came from his cunning deception. He started off as a quartermaster on a ship called the Ranger and served under the notorious pirate Charles Vane. While under his captaincy, Rackham turned the crew against Vane. Vane was soon denounced and Rackham took control of the Ranger. Soon after that, he met Anne Bonet. Hailing from Ireland, Anne was known as a fiery redhead with a temper to match, also known as a very skilled fighter. When she was younger, her father had arranged a marriage with her with a local man. She resisted by running away with a sailor named James Bonnet, which was the name she took after marrying him. 
Anne soon came to despise her husband and fell in love with Jack Rackham. This is where she met her friend Mary Reed, a woman and crewman on Jack's ship. It was said that Jack, Anne, and Mary would have threesomes. Anne would become pregnant with Jack's child and they sailed to Cuba where she gave birth. It was said the child was given to extended family, however other reports indicate the child was abandoned. Jack, Anne, and Mary Reed ended up stealing a new vessel named the William and established a new crew. They preyed upon small vessels outside of Jamaica. Their luck would eventually run out, however, in October 1720 when Jonathan Bonnet captured them and their crew. Anne and Mary claimed to have been pregnant and begged for their mercy. Mary ended up dying of fever while giving birth, while Anne stayed in prison. However, nothing else is known about what happened to Anne after that. As far as Calico Jack, he was hung in Port Royal on 18th of November, 1720. And that concludes the world's strangest pirates. As always, please like and subscribe.